Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Ursulescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada, and I thought I would start a new little series on this channel called the Age of Sigmar Battlefield Show and Tell. And this is where I get to show you all my different armies and models that I've painted over the years. And, well, just basically how I did things. So, today we're going to be taking a look at Queen Helgar. This is a very old model that I built a long time ago. It originally came out around maybe 4th or 5th edition in one of the special Warhammer scenario packages of a long time ago. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll take a look at Queen Helgar, and I built an entire dwarf army dedicated just to her, which we will be taking a look at piece by piece in future videos. So, without further ado, let's go down and see Queen Helgar. Today I'm going to be sharing a very old paint job I did on the model of Queen Helga of Craig Briss. Now a very long time ago I was able to find this on the internet. This of course being the Grudge of Drong uh, source book for use in Warhammer, I do believe, 5th edition. This was one of the extra scenarios that uh, Games Workshop came out with over the years back in that time period. And I did find it and I do like it a lot. Now this map came with the scenario and shows many of the mines that were around that area. It also tells us about Kazad Thrund and the Battle of Grudge Pass, the Battle of Craig Bryn, and Craig Bryn itself, where of course Queen Helgar is from, and Tol Eldoroth, which was a high elf outpost. There is also a dwarf brewery in here, and the Battle of the Brewery Brash bash, pardon me, takes place where these two swords are crossed. This is all taking place in the lands around Tol Eldoroth. The scenario continues with the Battle of Grudge Pass and tells you all about the troubles at the mines and the elves come to the rescue in the nick of time. It also brings out the relationship of Queen Helgar and King Drong. You also get these great scenario maps as well as how to play out the scenario for the Battle of Grudge Pass. Here we have this nice illustration of Drong the Hard of Karak Thrund, as well as Queen Helgar of Crag Bryn. There's also the scenario of the Brewery Bash. And for this scenario, there was included three cardboard cutout buildings that you could assemble and place for your battlefield. I was also able to download the PDFs of the original buildings and build them up, and this is what they look like once finished. The map for the Brewery Bash, scenario number three, actually does show where each of those cardboard buildings goes, as well as locations for uh, stone fences and some little hills, as well as trees, and the Dwarf Player's Deployment Zone and the High Elf De Player's Deployment Zones. Here we have Queen Helgar wearing green. This is a tester's color, enamel paint, flat enamel. And she's got the white horns, and her helm has brass, also from Tester's. In fact, the majority of this model is Tester's paint, 100% actually. So you can see the great axe here, which of course is painted with the Tester's silver. And then her hair, which is another Tester's yellow color. This is actually zinc chromate. And again, all done on a square base. I have added in this round base so that we could use her in Warhammer Age of Sigmar. From this angle, you can see that we've got a shield here without an emblem on it. I was going to add in that winged uh, hammer, as you will see in the Dwarf Warriors coming up later. However, I have not got around to it. Although I do like the way that this is all painted and how it all worked out. From the back, you can see that Queen Helgar does have a little bit of chainmail underneath her dress here. You can see the nice Greek key, or uh, I guess dwarven Celtic markings here on the bottom of her dress. Again, the nice green, and then we have a brown as leather on the back. And you can see the excellent runes on either side of the axe. From the side, you can see Queen Helgar's boots, which are actually rust paint from testers again and then there are the long pleats here inside her sleeve is flat black and then there is a desert tan i do believe the color is for her skin color as well as that silver again on the axe 
Now, according to the Grudge of Drong scenario, which came out from Games Workshop many, many years ago, Queen Helgar was fighting alongside the elves of the realms. So I decided to paint her in a forest type color, and that's why I wanted to do the army. And when we got into Age of Sigmar, I decided that I would have a elf, or pardon me, a wood elf and a dwarf army, which would all be part of Queen Helga's retinue. I hope you enjoyed that look at Queen Helgar, and if you have built and painted this model kit in the past, let us know in the comments section down below. Also share your pictures of the Queen on our Facebook page. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at Queen Helgar and her great little dwarf paint job that I put on her a long time ago. And if you love these great videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound the notification bell so every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. And if you've built Queen Helgar before, I'd love to see how you painted her up. And I will leave a link for our Facebook page in the description below where you can share all your pictures. And if you want to see the great models we have available at Monster Hobbies today, visit us at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And until next time, everybody, happy wargaming.